Hello guys and welcome back to Project Monaco. I know it's been a little while since the last video and there's a couple of reasons why that has been the case which we'll go through a bit further down in this video today. So last time round, just to recap, we worked on the Monaco football stadium and we did actually build slightly outside of Monaco with some of the buildings but like I said the borderline is a very rough estimate of where this project will finish eventually. The stadium itself I think we managed to pull off in the end. The additional stadium inside we used to create the seats using PO I think really did make a difference to the stadium. You can't find a stadium that looks anything like this on the workshop so you were using Chris's, Chris Games' version of that and we've just enhanced it by doing that. The buildings around as well worked really well. I really like this two tier sort of restaurant approach we got with the staircases leading up. That's one thing that has been difficult in the series is really combating the terrain and I mean it's easy to build on now but it's making it look realistic and adding these sort of staircases. And keeping with the terrain side of things we're going to be working on this beautiful area the Monaco Ville. Now this is on a big mountain of land very iconic when you're looking at Monaco it's something that really does pop out at you when you're watching. There's a beautiful cathedral here as well which has been created for us by Titan and it's been one that's been waiting in the realms ready to be used so I'm really happy to lay that down and hopefully Titan will be as well because it really does look really fantastic. So with that being said let's kick off straight away with episode 26 Monacoville. Now the first thing I needed to do is I wanted to level off the land because this area is quite difficult to build on and we really need to have the land at a very similar level so when we place down all the buildings that the, the skyline of this particular part comes to life and also it's a lot easier when you're building on flat land and I've not really had the opportunity to do that too often. Now here we go we're placing down straight away the Cathedral by Titan. Now this really does look beautiful. There's nothing quite like this in the workshop and obviously building Monaco it does help to have the correct models. So this one by Titan. Thank you very much Titan. It really does fit the theme well and you'll see later on in the cinematics how good this model looks. So the layout of the, the roads network here was quite difficult because this actual road I'm laying down now actually goes along the whole side of this little cliff face but the mechanics of the game just wouldn't allow that and I wanted to keep the look of the uh, the land because it does really give off that Monaco look and it looks very similar to the real life images I've seen of Monaco so we actually redesigned the road slightly here coming down the hill and it joins into this intersection here at the bottom which like I say it's not ideal but it works better it looks better. We could have tried our best to get that to work, but I wanted to make sure it was going to function correctly and we was able to build around it and make it look right. So that's why we done that bit there. Now we're just placing down the road, so I'm just going to use this moment here just to sort of catch you up on the channel and the Monaco series in general. So as you know, I am working on two series currently and many tutorials if you've probably seen on the Paradox City Skylines uh, the channel. Um, so the Isle of Wight series was obviously new. Um, it's obviously fresh in my mind. It's a lot easier to build. One, because it's not as complex as a very recreational video uh, series such as this one. Uh, but also it's something I know very easy and I can quite easily adjust to putting down um, my own inspiration rather than having to be creative and think about how, for example, this series Monaco looks. So that's one thing. So obviously the time consumption of building a video for the uh, the series of uh, Monaco is a lot longer than the Isle of Wight. So that's obviously a factor to play. And I kind of got a bit carried away of the U with the UK series because of that factor. Um, but I'm now back on Monaco and there's been a few adjustments. So I went round and I deleted a lot of mods. So I, I must have removed at least 60 mods that were either incompatible, out of date, or other mods now have replaced them. So that was one thing. And one mod that I did find, which probably a number of you have been using since day one, but I've never used it. And it's actually a mod that allows you to remove all crime, all death raves, pretty much everything. So you have the perfect city. And as you'll see now, during these last few seconds, look at the population. 
we have gone from literally a thousand people up to 21,000 and increasing. And bearing in mind this game is on pause at the moment and we're building a lot of housing. <laughs> so a couple of reasons why that is great is one, it's more realistic. Two, the additional people are gonna make the whole place look like it's lived in. There's gonna be a lot more people driving around. There's gonna be a lot more um, people in general walking up and down the streets. And it's gonna look more like Monaco. That's what the issue has been. And I must admit some of the cinematics when I was looking back on what we've done already, the building quality, I'm really pleased with, really proud of that. But the, the whole coming to life hasn't really come across too strongly in these videos. Um, and that is purely because of that factor, because we haven't got the people, the numbers walking around and doing things. So I'm really pleased now that we've got this all up and running and working. We should now see a lot of a difference in terms of our building. Um, and you'll see later in the video, we may have to do a traffic fix <laughs> series or at least an episode to fix some of the traffic issues because there is obviously a mass of people now um, coming around and looking and living in Monaco, which is brilliant. It's something that I've been trying to get to the point of doing so. Um, so that's really good. I'm really happy with that. So if you've been struggling with your population or issues, jump on the workshop. I'll put a link in the description below to that and also to Titan's beautiful masterpiece as well, the cathedral. Um, but the, the mod is called Pollution, Death, Garbage and Crime Remover Mod. Now it's quite an old one I think, back in 2016 it was released, but for some reason I completely have missed it. And um, I'm sure there's probably other mods that do what I have wanted, but I found this one and it's working well with my other mods compatibility wise. So that's that. Um, so yeah, Monaco is back alive, it's back and kicking. Um, I also have change the the LUT and the theme and the color array a little bit so let me know what you think of it I think it looks a bit more a bit more brighter and colorful um, the cinematics at the end will obviously um, give you a better understanding of the changes but the fact we've now removed so many mods that were conflicting in the game you'll also see now that the um, the uh, the sky the cube map is now is actually working so we can now have some very nice cube map um, skylines which is brilliant that really does make a difference to to your cinematics and just in general looking around the the island um, and yeah that's pretty much where we are with Monaco now the, the removal of the mods has also freed up some uh, frames as well which is very important <laughs> for this um, and I think Monaco is gonna be back live and kicking a bit more regular like I said, it's obviously going to be different, difficult um, to do this weekly alongside the Isle of Wight. So I'm probably going to do a couple of Isle of Wights and maybe a couple of Monaco's and go back and forth. But I do have a completion deadline. I want to finish the series by March. Now, I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. If we do at least two episodes a month, I think that's going to be enough to really fulfill what I want to do. In the series there's obviously gonna be a big finale which i have in mind um, which some of you have already guessed what it's going to be about but i'm not going to ruin it for those who still want to play the guessing game so that's the sort of plan with monaco the isle of wight series we'll see where that goes and how soon that lot goes on for but monaco is getting to that point now where i need to tie it off it's been going for a long time and obviously understandably it's going to been going for a long time because of the complexities and the fact it is a, is a project recreation it's obviously going to take a lot longer time um, so I'm going back to the idea of detailing uh, more key areas and the rest we will just probably we'll probably just do the rest more off camera or maybe on a live stream or so um, and in fact what we'll do we'll do a poll because I've not done a poll with YouTube yet so top right hand corner we'll do a poll here so it's going to be a poll for how we should do the future videos or live streams for the more mundane builds so when i say mundane i'm on about just the filling builds the filling areas so let's have a couple of options let's go one we do it as a normal episode like this but just pretty much placing down buildings um 
or two, we'll do it as a live stream and then we can upload the live stream. Or three, I do it off camera and we just do a little recap at the start of the next episode to show what I've done. So click on the poll top right hand corner guys and let me know your thoughts and we'll go from there. I'm also thinking as well, obviously I have a few ideas in mind on what areas I want to do as actual projects in terms of recreating it as best we can. But I also want to find out what you guys think as well. What in the comment section below, let me know what you want to see being built. There must be areas of Monaco left to be built that we can create um, more as a recreation rather than just filling in the area. So what do you want to see next in the Monaco series? Let me know in the comments section below. But back into the build, as you have seen for the last 10 or so minutes, we have pretty much just been plopping down buildings and really, really trying to get this location looking good. And these buildings here are perfect for that. They really do give off that Monaco um, vibe of the Monacoville area. It's all very small and compacted. The streets are very narrow, but the buildings still are really high up in the sky as well. So they are sort of three to four tier buildings and you have a really, really nice look when you zoom into this down the, the roads. And we do that a bit later on in the cinematics, but it really does give off a nice vibe. And it when you get people walking up and down the streets and a few cars popping by as well, it really does bring this area to life. And it's something that I've been looking forward to doing with these buildings. I've kind of left this part for a little while. One, because I was trying to think of the best way to get it all to work and function. And also I was hoping there'd be a few more sort of Monaco-esque Mediterranean buildings, which there has been, which has really helped out build up this area because I didn't want to use the same four or five Monaco um, buildings in this area because it would have looked a bit too too similar um, and a bit boring in my opinion so um, at least we've had a few more buildings to work with and you'll see there I've been doing a bit more PO work now especially with the new update of PO being able to convert your move it or any building into PO that's uh, available to do so really does help out this um, this series now and there's been a, a lot of areas here where you've, it's been hard to fill in some gaps and these roof um, networks by Ronix really do help out with that. And you can also use that as flooring as well. There's um, been a few ideas I've had where I wanted to use that. Now, the placement of these buildings, I tried to get as best I could. Um, this part here against the cliff face was quite difficult to do. We had to be a bit clever about that and I did end up moving the whole um, road network down a little bit to give us a bit more space in that area um, because I kind of misjudged that when I was putting down the road layouts. But with Move It, that means it's just a very simple task of highlighting and dragging, whereas just think how difficult that would have been prior to Move It. That would have been a whole delete and redo, which um, wouldn't have been too enjoyable, I must say. Now, when I've been placing down these buildings, I've been trying to leave a bit of gap around it as well because there are little tiny narrow alleyways going between the buildings. So I've been doing doing that on purpose and leaving that. Obviously, these are just purely for pedestrians as opposed to cars going down. So I was trying my best to try and make that look a bit more realistic by leaving these little channels for people to, to dive through to get down to the next area, which um, worked out quite nicely. Now another thing that I've been really trying my best to do is to create the beautiful rooftop look that Monaco has. You'll notice when you look over at Monaco, they are mostly these orange, orangey yellow rooftops. And we're lucky enough that a lot of these assets we're working with have a different type of orange or a different type of yellow rooftop. Um, so that's working out really well. I'm trying to do my best to alternate the colors so it's not just all solid themed colors the same, especially this section here where he's using the same building quite a lot. Um, and also using the building painter has really helped out that as well. And you'll see here I actually deleted some of these areas to then put in different buildings so it didn't look too, too samey. Um, and at first I was worried about putting in different buildings in terms of their height as you see there there's a four tier versus a three tier sandwiched together but that is actually quite common in this area 
rather than having the same height buildings in fact there is a lot of variance in that which again adds to the realism um and then you know the, the higher up you get and look down from a bird's eyes point of view it just looks so much more realistic when you do have these different colors so that's worked out really well as well And on a similar topic as well, I'll be interested to know if anyone else has had some issues with the um, the painter, floor painter. Um, it seems to be fixed now, and it may have been a mod that was causing this before, but every time I used to load up Monaco, all of the surface painting that I had done had disappeared. Um, but I think it might be resolved now. Um, I'm talking after I've created the video. Um, obviously this is a recording after building um, and it does seem to have fixed itself but if anyone else has had the problem and they know why they fixed it let me know because I'm quite interested to know what was causing the issue um, but I think it should be fixed now we'll find out I'm guessing the next episode you'll you'll hear the final feedback on that front um, but I'm just going to leave you for a few minutes here whilst we plop down the rest of these buildings and we'll catch up again shortly So we're getting close now to the completion of the building layout. Um, again, using the Move It mod tool here and procedure objects just allow me to clip a few buildings together a bit more nicer. Um, I also was using the um, the prop remover as well to get rid of some of the um, parts of the buildings that I didn't want to keep. I mean, especially when you're overlapping buildings and you have double the amount of things that are on the roof. For example, here you can see We'd have had too many chairs on the roof etc so that does help when you're doing that sort of building clipping so keep that in mind as well um, and there was a few other things i wanted to tackle in this episode and the main thing that i wanted to really really make pop was the view from the um, the main harbor looking up into this area now the area itself is covered with trees the the cliff sides not hugely dense but it is covered quite well and the issue i had was the way that the side of these cliffs were they were very very sort of vertically down there wasn't much of a, a bend on them which meant that the trees together would look rather silly so i ended up using the um network um terraforming mod or sorry asset from the workshop and we've just managed to find a way here to basically 
just give a bit more of a curve to these cliffs. And all you do is you place one high, one low, and then move it around and then lower the top down. You get this more, as you can see here, you've got more of an arc now um, to the cliff side. This part particularly worked out really well. And that means now when we place the trees on top, they'll follow the terrain of that and it just looked 10 times better than what it did before. So that is the main core down. Now we're on to the detailing aspects of the video, which um, are always pleasant to do. I always get to a point where I put down all the buildings and I look at the place and think, this needs a lot of work still. <laughs> so there's probably a good couple of hours here now, um, obviously in time-lapse form, where we are now building up and creating the detailing aspects of this and I used a lot of the Monaco walls I did find some other walls that I didn't actually think would suit this area but I used the um, I think it's one of the zoo walls which we'll see a bit later on um, which strangely enough worked really well for going around some of the buildings it gave a, a nice Monaco-esque feel about it um, and I kind of picked out a few areas here to heavily detail rather than doing all of it heavily detailed so this main square here I really like the look of very close to the cathedral as well um, but when I was looking on Google Maps it really did pop out to me and it's got this really beautiful sort of courtyard roundabout with um, all of these posh Ferraris and whatnot parked on it um, with a nice little sort of backyard area with some flowers and people's gardens and I wanted to really show off this part of the build so I kind of worked quite heavily on this um, and detailed this a lot more than other areas um, because it's a focal point again it's very close like I say to the cathedral and the rest of the area so that was one area I wanted to, to detail and it's it does get to a stage where it sometimes feels a bit difficult to detail in Monaco because I'm using these orange paths um, sometimes it feels a bit too too much the orangeness of this so I've started to try and add a few decals on top like the stain decals certainly do help hide away the bright orange um, and then also putting down other concretes um, and trying to hide it with some foliage as well so using a bit more sort of bushes to hide the area some of these planters work out quite nicely as well um, but also adding the trees in the trees from a distance obviously cover a much larger range of area and that works really well for this um, alongside adding some bushes etc. So there's been a few ways I've been trying to experiment to make Monaco look a bit more well I guess real in that sense and not like it's you know it's, it's, it's a hard situation to come over because you don't want to go too crazy in terms of detailing because you'll lose all your frames and your prop limit will be touched quite quickly um, but again you don't want to you know build something that doesn't look detailed in my opinion I mean obviously this series is obviously purely about detailing and realism so yeah that's kind of where the problems have been with Monaco lately but I think I've overcome it um, I mean if you don't feel the same let me know in the comment section and how you think we should tackle these scenarios but I think it works out quite nicely. So these are the zoo um, fences that I found. And like I say, they're very, because they're white, it works really well. But again, it's not ideal. You've, you know, it doesn't look perfect, but I thought they work quite nice in this area. So if we go back to the discussion earlier about the, the schedule, so to speak, in inverted commas for uh, Monaco, um, I'm going to try and get back into the whole... Um, patreon side of things and just keeping everyone updated who wants to be updated in terms of where the series is heading i'm going to try and build a few videos um and sort of have them almost backlogged um which i would obviously release early to the people on patreon so if you're not already a patreon user or subscriber i guess is the term i'm not too sure how it's sort of spoken about <laughs> Um, but click the link in the description below to become a patron um, and you'll get access to the videos early and I'm going to probably put my um, time scale or my schedule up which I've started to work on a bit more now um, or work towards now is probably the better way of describing it and the good thing is is we are coming up now to Christmas whereby my full-time job 
um, is a lot less busy, let's put it that way. Um, and also I do have, I'm lucky enough to have a, a week or so off for Christmas, which will be spent obviously with friends and family, but I'll also have a lot more time to build on as well. So I'm hoping to get a few more videos down and dusted so we've got more of a fluent flow and obviously that will benefit you guys that want to watch the videos earlier or at least plan to watch and hopefully we'll grab a few new subscribers along the way as well but as for that we are now as i say just finishing these last pieces we're just putting down some of these planters uh, very very basic detailing here but it does make a big difference it, it really does in my opinion just adding these plants down um, and i tend to go through the workshop or my asset list in game and just place down the ones that i think suit the area and then use move it to copy and paste a few of these together i do do a little bit more detailing off of the time lapse just to finish things off which you can check out very shortly in these next cinematics but other than that guys remember to put your input into the poll that's going um for today let me know in the comment section below what you want to see next. And if you did enjoy the video, I'd very much appreciate a like to let more people know about Project Monaco and we'll get a lot more amazing feedback. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time. Have a good weekend and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and all the best.